Il y a 1,1 million d'années, un froid extrême aurait eu raison des premiers Européens qui s'étaient aventurés sur le continent. Des modèles climatiques de plus en plus précis permettent aujourd'hui d'affiner ce scénario. The period of time in Europe between about 1 and 2 million years ago is really interesting because we have a series of human fossils not very well dated and we have stone tools that show people were there. It's not really clear who these people were. So we've got Homo erectus over in Western Asia at the site of Dmanisi at about 1.8 million years ago. Uh, then we come on to sites in southern Europe Uh, we've got stone tools in Italy and Spain at about 1.5 million years. Uh, we have fragmentary fossils at about 1.4 million in Spain, from northern Spain and southern Spain. It's unclear what species they are. They might be erectus, but we don't know. And then there's a gap in the evidence. Uh, and then we come to about 850,000 years ago, and we're at Grandolina at Atapuerca. And here is this partial skull of a child uh, assigned to the species Homo antecessor. Entre l'enfant d'Atapuerca et les fossiles fragmentaires retrouvés en Italie et en Espagne, il s'est écoulé environ 500 000 ans, sans trace de présence humaine. Une absence dont l'origine serait avant tout climatique, c'est en tout cas la conclusion d'une nouvelle étude publiée dans la revue Science. Le savoir que les cycles de climat à ce moment où les humains ont apparu, sont généralement mildes. Uh, and that the first big glaciation happened later, 900,000 years ago. And instead of what we found, to our surprise, was that there was an, an extreme uh, glacial period that occurred about 1.1 million years ago. The way we reconstructed paleoclimate in Iberia at that particular time was analyzing uh, material from a marine core and we looked at both the terrestrial and the marine component. So basically there are these fossilized microorganisms and we looked into the chemical composition of these creatures. We looked at the pollen grains and also the chemical properties of the sediment. Contrary to what we were expecting, we actually found that that glacial period was characterized by increasingly unstable conditions that culminated with a drop in sea surface temperatures to 5.5 degrees and temperate trees disappeared from uh, Iberia. The results from these computer experiments are clear. Early humans in Europe could not have survived this extreme glaciation. It does lead to the question of which species were there before and after, and were there differences between those species. And yes, I think it, it, it seems likely that when humans came back, maybe around 900,000 years ago, they were a more resilient species. So we have this sequence then of something erectus like early on, probably, and then later on, Homo antecessor, and then Homo heidelbergensis. <laughs> <laughs>